We're on the road to farm progress coming up on August 29, 30, 31. And something that a lot of people are going to want to see are the soybean plots. Uh, Illinois Soybean Association doing something really special. For the first time, uh, you're going to see the uh, uh, soybean folks have plots and doing things within the, the uh, farm progress show site other than a booth. And so this is on the southwest corner of the Farm Progress Show. With me is Abigail Peterson, Director of Agronomy for the Illinois Soybean Association. And they're going to see some cover crop plots. What have you got up your sleeve? Or I should say, what have you got growing out of the ground? Growing out of the ground, yes. It's not doing too bad. We've had some moisture lately. These weren't planted um, not too long ago, so this is about a week of growth here at the site. And really just to demonstrate what different kind of species and what different kind of cover crops we see used throughout the state. Um, right now, what's doing the best um, that popped out of the ground first is all these grasses. Um, some of them winter kill, some of them overwintering. Um, a great example of what annual rye grass looks next to cereal rye and triticale and barley. All these are different types of cover crops farmers can consider. Uh, we really want to bring some information to them on how to use them, what the goals you can achieve are, termination challenges that we've seen, and, and what kind of um, things that they can do on their operation, maybe for this fall or in the future. I'm sure there will be labels along here, so it's a self-guided tour. But if somebody wanted to really know about it, uh, what sort of questions should they be asking? Yeah, um, we get all different types of questions of how to apply. You know, we see it from used uh, with drones, aerial uh, seeding, drills, planter, um, broadcasting. You know, what is the different techniques to get the cover crop on the ground and established? Um, which ones are the best before each rotation, before corn or soybeans? What different type of um, cover crops to use? Uh, termination would be my biggest one, especially that we've had a dry year this year. And in the past, we usually have dry spring or wet springs. Um, the different type of spring conditions can really uh, needs to consider the termination types that you can uh, achieve for maximizing your soil health but also making sure that cash crop gets a good start so we'd like to hear all those questions showcase the research that we do with not only University of Illinois but also other partners throughout the state um, what field trials farmers can participate with us in. that's what we're most excited about on the team um, we've built a really strong agronomy team at ISA and we would be um, elated to be able to work with farmers on their fields to do um, more studies and research um, on their farm. Abigail Peterson, Director of Agronomy, just offered you a great invitation. So take her up on it. Uh, it's, it's something that you would benefit from. And come out and look at the cover crop plots adjacent to the three soybean plots here in the southwest corner of Progress City. We're on the road to farm progress. I'm Sue Ellis.